Hello, Taurus. This is Lauren with Etheric Tide. It is your monthly reading for July. And uh, yeah, Mercury retrograde is in full swing. I wonder if you're noticing it. For me personally, I tend to muddle up all of my words. <laughs> And um, I, I noticed that like a lot of my uh, my technology will be playing up and I'll I'll get people from my past just like s step in and um, a lot of the time we blame Mercury retrograde for everything that's going wrong in our lives and, and I think uh, Mercury gets a bad rap that although uh, <laughs> although I definitely feel it it's um it's always for the best it's always a great thing it's reevaluating relooking at uh just it's a great it's all the re's all the re's it's retrograde so um it really likes us to re look at that's what mercury retrograde is for me so let's see what you Torions Torions are going to be getting up to this July I feel like you guys need to have a little bit more fun, yeah? I think that up until now, it's been all business, all business, all, all work and no play, you know? Lighten up. <laughs> we got ourselves the, uh, the hanged man. So this is looking at your life from a different perspective. Uh, maybe you have hit, hit a wall in the sense that you're kind of like... It's not working for me anymore. Whatever you've been doing, it, it it's wearing you out. And you kind of need to take, you, you need to pause. You need to pause, you need to stop, you need to look at it from a different perspective. I think that, uh, I mean, it's it was even similar for Aries that you, you kind of thought that you had to do something in a certain way. And... It hasn't turned out the way that you wanted it to and it's not working for you it's it's leaving you I feel like this is very career based I mean it could be um, I mean I take it how it resonates it's a general reading but I kind of feel like oh <laughs> you see that so this one here is about like uh, stability like stability with your money with your family with your home everything that's with the physical I think with uh, Taurans in particular, you guys really love it when things are nice and stable and there's a good foundation uh, and you've been following that that particular formula. However, it's not working for you anymore. It's, uh, it's leaving you exhausted and you're having to reevaluate what what's actually a priority for you like what things in your physical tangible life are actually that meaningful for you or is it more so that you care about the connections and the relationships that you have more so than uh working so hard at that monetary uh stability like maybe you're, you've had like a reevaluation on what you're actually prioritizing and what you're putting your energy into, um, and I mean like if this hasn't happened, it's certainly going to happen over July. I think, um, I mean it's going to be a new financial year. Maybe you're going to be reevaluating like how things went for you the previous year and. Um, what money was made and what investments were made and I'm not just talking about I'm not just talking about money investments where you've energetically invested as well and how that's and how that's played out for you and um, you're like well I put in all of this effort into this and and this is how it turned out and maybe I'm not Maybe I'm not going to invest so much time and energy into that anymore um, just because it's not giving you the return that you had hoped for. I also think 
don't you kind of like having a look at some, like the five of swords is a little bit about like um petty drama and I think for you you are kind of having to step back from petty squabb squabbling and again I think this I, I think this is all kind of very work based for you um, but I think it's also like that balance between like what's what's happening for you at work and how that's affecting you at home. I think maybe you're having a look at the type of work environment that you're in and how that is affecting you emotionally and spiritually, um, mentally and physically. <laughs> so in every single aspect, I think that uh, you're just getting that new perspective of like, oh works actually affecting me in this way and I am finding it difficult to continue as I am because it's not fulfilling me in the way that it used to it it's like because your priorities change uh everything needs to follow uh nothing else makes sense anymore based on that new priority or value base um I think that you're becoming aware that some of the people in the workplace are just, they're not in the same place as you and you can't connect to them in the way that you used to either. Uh, you might find yourself a little bit introspective coming into July where you may not interact with um, the people at work the same way that you used to. I think that you might even, um, I think you might even be telling people off a little bit there's a way there's a way that you can uh deal with these sorts of petty squabbling gossip uh in the workplace without having to really get involved and not having to get really defensive i think that when we when we align with what it is that we really want and I think that when we get really clear on where our boundaries are with people around us and if people are asking us to do things and it is pushing us beyond our limits, when we are honest with them in plain terms why we're refusing to do something uh, in a very factual and uh, it's like drawing upon like an ev like evidence like be, uh, they're kind of saying it's like you have to present your case to them rather than taking it from that emotional route even though this and this is an emotional thing um, and it's about your emotional stability I think that when you're noticing people in your workplace coming coming at you and it could even be from an emotional place as well or uh he's he he's doing this and she's doing that and they're trying to use you in some way if you notice that i think that if you uh if you start to tell them what the facts are it will help that it'll help them stop from pushing you so hard. Um, and I even, I even think that some of you might even be rethinking the, the career that you're actually in and the workplace that you're actually in. Um, I know that career stability isn't as easy to come by these days, so obviously do what you feel is right. I think the best that you can do in this situation is change your perspective, readjust your boundaries, uh, step away from any unnecessary drama that's happening within your workplace. And I think just realigning with the new list of priorities that you have. I'm just going to grab you an Oracle card. Let's have a look. Let me go here. This one. Okay. 
love matters. So I think, I think that you're actually going to reprioritize emotional connections over the more tangible uh, money, work, career. I, I think that there's just going to be a re-establishing of an equilibrium where the connections with other people are going to matter more to you than, than what's going on at work. And I think that that's going to make your decision making completely different. And it's going to mean that you're not going to have certain things at work aren't going to affect you in the same way as they used to because you're finding solace and connection and in different places. So that is for you for July. Taurus, if you would like a reading, all the details are down below. And I do appreciate any comments or liking and, and please subscribe. Don't forget to click that wiggly bell. I'll be doing uh, weekly pick a card readings and the, with these monthly readings and then just random readings now and then. So anyway, that's your reading for July. Thanks so much. See you later.